Hey everybody, we are in here right now with Billy Currington. What's happening? How are you? Welcome to Boston. Good to see you, brother. Thanks for having us here. Yeah. Uh, so you're here. I want to jump right into something. Well, two things. One, the new music. People are all bugging to find out when the next album is happening, what's happening, if you're working on it. Where are we at? Can we get a status? Yeah, we're definitely working on music right now. We're writing a lot of songs and, and just going through them and finding out which ones to go in the studio with. I say we'll probably go in the studio within two months. Oh, that's and, good. And start laying it all down. Because so. I know people, there's a lot of people asking. I know you've been yeah. busy with other stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, I do all kind of things, but you know, I'm, I'm focused on the music at the moment, so we should get it done this year. So how long of like a timeline is it when you hit the studio to when the album actually comes out? Oh, shoot. Sometimes it could take about a year or yeah. even more. Or if you put a single out and it just does so well, they start really rushing you. So yeah, they're like, come like on, we want to hold it. You know, it just. It can speed up because of that, but I'm hoping it'll be around a year's time. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. It's enough time to like get in there, make sure it's perfect, oh, exactly yeah. how you want it. Yeah. So, how many songs? I know I, I ask everyone this question because it's so crazy to me. How many songs do you write and record that don't hit the album, and do you ever do anything with those afterwards? Um. Yeah, we write a lot that don't make the album, and if it was up to me, I would put them all out anyway. But they only allow you like 10 songs to 12, 13, whatever on your album. And the rest, just take a back seat and sit on the shelf. Got to release so, them uh, secretly. Yeah, I, I, just I've drop been them actually online. actually looking uh, for a way to do that. So I'm, I'm trying to work that out now because I probably have 30 previous recorded songs that never made on an album. Yeah. Just sitting around, yeah. And they're, they're all so good. They're it's like, good, we yeah, want to hear them. Yeah, they're good songs, yeah. But, it's way good. I love it. hearing your voice and hearing you talk and seeing your style, the Alice in Hula Land. And... <laughs> Like, you have a different vibe that I can feel than, than a lot of the other guys in country music and stuff like that. I know the whole thing, like, you're, you're in Maui and stuff like that, and you still give tours. Do you still do that to this day? Yes. Oh, yeah. So he gives tours so if you want to go on a tour, Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. How much is that? Are you, like, a real expensive tour guide? No, I, I give the money to another guy who's my partner out there, and he, you know, that's what he lives out there, and that's how he makes his living. So the money always goes Your to Your vibe feels like that you're... Island, you you seem island. Like you got I was, that. Yeah, I was born on an island, born in Savannah, Georgia, and my dad he was a dredge boat worker. So we were living on Tybee Island since I was since I was born. So, so how does that for you? To me, that's a very strange disconnect from being huge country artist, Nashville, and all that stuff. Maui surfer guy, loving yeah. to give tours and stuff like that. Do you feel like you're living two totally different lives? Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it that way. That's <laughs> the best. Yeah, it's yeah, probably it's so just, relaxing. It is. I mean, I love music and I love touring and I love all that. I wouldn't ever want to give that up, but it's it doesn't, you know, fit in the same bracket as going to Maui, like 2,500 miles away. And, and I would think that that probably is so much more what life is to you, is to enjoy that island time. You love music, probably, but when people are rushing you to make this next album, you probably are like, just chill. Let me Give me a little time here. I'm for sure saying chill. <laughs> but they're not saying that. Yeah. So but when you do so. these tours, do people recognize you? Do they freak out? Um, sometimes, but most of the time, no, they don't, they don't. That must be because such a good thing, change of pace. It is. The thing about Maui, people are coming from everywhere. They're coming from Canada, Japan. I mean, you name it. So a lot of the times you don't even get people in the boat. And when I say boat, we take people out to go see the whales during oh, wow. whale season out in a six man canoe. And a lot of times in that canoe, there's nobody that even knows what country music is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's not even it's, in their like. Yeah, wavelength. It is not. So it's uh, it's pretty relaxing. And to me, that's so crazy because you're. So, I mean, like everybody goes wholehearted into what their career is, and that's what you love. You, but you have two totally different. Like, so you love getting people out there and seeing the whales and giving them the joy of seeing that. Yeah, so many things that I got to do when I first got to Hawaii that um, I just want to share it with everyone else that, that I can. That's it's wild. an amazing yeah. place. You live a wild life. Like yeah. uh, me trying to wrap my head around it is crazy. <laughs> uh, Billy Carrington, he's, he's headlining. He's going to be up on stage in just a couple minutes. Street party. You, you glad to be back in Boston? What oh, do you love man. about Boston? I love. Uh, well, I love that, the run that we took today by the river. It's such a beautiful, beautiful yeah. run. And and uh, I've seen some beaches here one time. I, I really liked your beaches. And and I don't know. I love the city itself. The old buildings. It reminds me of. Where I'm from, Savannah, Georgia, and I mean, we're still dated back in the 1700s around there, yeah. and it uh, seems like a lot of buildings around here are the same, and I just love the architect. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. All right, well, welcome here. He's coming up. Uh, Billy Carrington again, Country 1025 Street Party. Yay. Yeah.